the Cape Town Andrew Tate. Cape Town Andrew Tate. Cape Town Andrew Tate. No. The Cape, no, you're the Cape Town Andrew Tate, bro. You literally look like him, look. You just need the, the shades. Come in. Uh, Come on, bro. You have the beard, you have the chain, the gold chain now. Now you're trippy cool now. All black, the whole chain. Uh, oh, no, let me try. Who's your, your, your favorite artist? Rapper? Rapper? Yeah. Um, I'm actually, I don't know, I've been enjoying Mac Miller lately. And then, I, uh, I was because uh, saying, everyone keeps saying, saying I look like Mac Miller. That's the reason I asked. Because what's um, what's I, Drake? Drake just made an album with another guy. Um, no, uh, the AI artist. We album. Which one? Uh, he made an album with the, with who? Uh, s s somebody. Oh, you, you, this guy's a technique. Drake. With Drake. Drake uh -huh. made an album with someone. Drake made an album with somebody with recently. Oh, Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Savage. Yeah. Uh, that money song. What's that money? Which money song is this? No, 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 Guts. Oh, so mm. you say for me, 21, you know, something no, like that. No, 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 no. Uh, you don't know the AI song, the one that's AI? No, oh, no, please, there's, please, a, please. There's, a, there's a trait. Please, please. You don't copyright us now, I don't know, I didn't really listen to Drake. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm finally on Spotify here. So you're going to copyright us now. You're going <laughs> to... I, I saw the album, but I didn't listen is to it. Is it a lot? A lot. A lot. Ah, but this is so old. What the heck? But this was Jayco. It's Jayco 21 Savage. Nice, is, like that, is that your motto? I, I, I relate to it right now, it's good. <laughs> ah, <laughs> the problems you? is a lot. Yeah, and got a lot of things on your plate. How many women you got? A lot. How many women you got? A lot. So yeah, too, so many, too, yeah. too, too, too much problems. How many yes. money you got? A lot. How many women? <laughs> very, very fucking little right now, to be honest. <laughs> but Come yeah. on, you're a big baller. Come on, it's all yeah, big baller. Big baller, don't worry. You must. It's really interesting though. Actually, I want to know how do you um, how did you start with this paradise? Um, so I've been doing photography for over ten years now, yeah. and uh, through that, I started working on the events, sort of work, um, and then I started hosting events. Yeah. So it's I see it as steps. Mm -hmm. So you know you first you know you move up so photography you work for event organizer okay. then i became the event organizer i started hosting the events and then because i'm hosting events i must learn the equipment so i started djing to you know save money and also uh know how everything's used and then from organizing events owned it started owning one i feel like this is missing information there, 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 there's a lot there, of missing yeah, information i feel like you know, that's that's the full package out here there's, so there's no there's way that you can just from that to that it's not that easy there, it's not that easy i'm but telling you but there's a lot of hustling, do I? Ah, is this uh, the there, team, there, There's a lot of haters for the hustle, but the hustle was there. <laughs> like, what was the turning point? What was that one click that you finally received for you to actually get to that point where you can able to afford to buy a club like that? Um, it must be something that just clicked to you. No, no, no. Was like, I, I, was, I was always getting there, um, you know, trying to earn more and more where yeah. I can. Um, like photography, my. Just two years of doing photography, already earned a million hand, like Jeez. in just one Bro, season. Sheesh! So <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was, it was like two, two, just over one year even. Because um, like I was working a lot, yeah. Professionally or? Professionally, yeah. I for, think for, 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 you, uh, you were saving your money from for photography you. money. So, so I earned, like, it took me like just over a year to earn like half a more. From photography only? Yeah, and then literally... No way, there's no way. Uh, and literally, oh, there's no way. And, and, and then literally, it, just, and it literally just took me one season, one summer season, I earned another half. So I earned Wait, double that in Who were you working for in that time? So people like, can I go and work for that same person? No, I was, I was hustling. I was working every job I could. I was residents at every club, even Shimmy Beach, uh, all the nightclubs, uh, high, high-end corporates. Yeah. So I was working for like Apple Music, Springbox. Oh, okay. Like I was working for all of them. And yeah. then it was consistent, like two two jobs a day. So, so like instead of you months. spending the money that you're earning, you invested into Yeah, yourself. no, I still lived with my parents. And I was like, I don't know, 21, 22. I was yeah. still living with my parents. And I even studied, like I started, I studied biology. Yeah. And then, As like, in my, yeah, and then my third year, like I got too busy. <laughs> so you, did, you, you dropped yeah. out? I uh, dropped out the very last because I couldn't. Like what? I was just, <laughs> I was just working, no yeah, matter, yeah. always. Oh, there goes the light. But I was working no matter, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. What you want to say? No, I actually want to know how do you, how did you manage to get all those contracts with those Apple, Apple, and uh, all recommendations like, um, but yeah, hustled a little bit. Um, do you have to like? But but yeah, mostly recommendations. 
just growing contacts but um a lot of them i don't even know where they come from they just message me like hey mm. somebody recommended i'm like cool thank you like i didn't even ask yeah like i'm grateful yeah. but i'm sure there's like a lot of photographers <laughs> are watching you like wondering how you get to the point where you're at right now because because they also hustling just I, as I you know, are how, yeah. how do you get to a point to make millions like that because i mean like i've been doing photography for quite a long time but i never yeah. managed to get to that amount yeah it's always is like 100 the, bucks is there the camera is it the skill what is it uh i I'd say it's definitely a skill. Like cameras, you know, slowly evolve. But mm -hmm. like, I'd love to buy better and better, better cameras. But you know, you you do what you can and you work with what you have. Um, but it's, it's definitely because you, you know when you take a good photo, they're like mm. they're like, cool, yeah, that's such a nice camera. You're like, okay, cool. I guess the camera did everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, you must do the white balance. You must do the lighting. You must it's do always everything post that. Actually, yeah. editing as well. I didn't. I didn't even edit most of the time. Sometimes I just send people the work. Oh. I'm like, yeah, it's perfect. Just as and then if you want touch-ups, I'll do it. It's mm. like, just give me a couple hours. So at this like, moment, I'm still doing photography work. Yeah, I still do, yeah. And did, like, you, did you study this? I uh, know, I study biology. Okay. I so you self-taught yourself how to work the camera and how to like perfect your skills in photography and stuff? Yeah, yeah, just YouTube literally videos. like, was your, just kept shooting. What was your, 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 your tutorial go-to guy on YouTube that Nothing you could... actually. You didn't watch any <laughs> Peter McKinney? I didn't, didn't use any of that. You, so Yo. how did you learn then? I you had to go to... Literally holding a camera. And just going, trial and error. Literally shoot, trial and shoot, error. Shoot, shoot, and yet yeah. and, and people still hired you to do more work while doing trial and error. So then yeah, you just honestly, like, my, 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 my second job, which was like one of my biggest jobs, was uh, assembly. Uh, Never did videography before. What? I literally got booked for videography. I went to the shops, bought a video yeah. flash that yeah. day. Yeah. I worked <laughs> two days later. Shoot. And then I did it. So and they liked it. I was like, yes, cool, good, good. So so it's on to the next job. So so what 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 do you what would you advise to that guy, person that's thinking like you, like want to get into the position that you are in um, being a successful photographer and videographer with little any reference that they have whatsoever uh, but they have this <laughs> set. um i'd say just say yes just say like yes. uh a lot of times mm. even you know, though even though you don't know how to do yeah you just say yes you just, just do it setting yourself for failure it's just, literally it's, you said it, you either have it or you don't eh? yeah when it when it gets to that point where you literally yeah hey, so you got some women out here calling you bro yeah yeah it's it's work it's work um but yeah it's it's literally um just that confidence yes. you know literally yeah. just accept it wish for the best mm. yeah oh, wow. so it's basically just just say yes and yeah no no do, do, don't lose opportunities and then the opportunity i like that word and yeah. how do you know how do you know that this is actually the opportunity you you, 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 you like feel uh like so i've lost a lot of opportunities okay. in a sense where like i don't know I was, I was i was trying to raise my prices hustle there and then i lost the job and then they, I don't feel too bad because they wanted to undervalue me a little bit. Yeah. But I, it ended up being like one of the biggest jobs ever. And they had no budget. I was like, how is that even possible? Yeah. And I was like at the Zeitz Museum for like a very important brand. I'm like, how do you like to intervene in a position in the first place? Like, like you got some yeah. godfather in, 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 yeah, in so photography heaven or something. Yeah, so... Like and you still rejected I, it, you said, nah, I'm not going to do it because... No, I, I just said, like, I want a little bit more, and then they were like, nah, I've got somebody else. I'm like, fuck. Like, yeah, I like I, I, I'll, I'll still work work it, I would like to work it, mm. but, you know, you need to always, like, lower the hours if you if they can't afford the rates, you know? Mm. It's like, cool, just book me an hour. Like, I'll go there, shoot, don't don't, don't even bother to try me for five hours for a little yeah. money. I'll just work an hour or two. Wow. Like, there's no need. So then, now going to the Club Paradise side, from photography to owning a club, why that transition? Did you always wanted to have a club of your own? Yeah, like I like being in control, to be honest. I ah, just want everything. You just want yeah, to, yeah. Like as a photographer going into someone else's club, you want to be in control of running that club? No, like I, I understand how it's run now. And like, mm. because working all the events, I understand. Mm. So I have a good, really good understanding of it. So, you know, I like analyzing it where I go to a certain place and I try and make sure, like I try to see their problems yeah. so I can solve it like a really good tip for f photographers or anybody is like mm -hmm. photography is all problem solving you mm. take a photo it's cuck so you must try to solve the you know change the camera yeah. where it looks better so everything in life is more problem solving and mm. that was something i was really good at as a child like problem solving wow like it's really oh, good uh, at like general knowledge kind of vibe i, th I think that's that's a very good piece of advice yeah. i think because 
you know what I mean like like you say the whole world there's problem right and imagine being the person that can solve those problems that's sort of like that's the tips of being a millionaire yeah imagine, imagine solving all the problems yeah you, like Right now, I'm like, I, I need more money. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Like, like problem from, solved from, that. From, from my perspective, it seems like yeah. you have it all, you know? And, like, yeah. and you complain like, ah, I need more money, bro. No, like, no. What's, what's, more, what's more that you need that make, will make you satisfied than what you got? It? No, no, it's not about that. Like, I was thinking, you can have as much money as you ever want. Mm. And then you can't buy something. Like, yeah. or you can't afford something. Like, yeah. you know, you can be a millionaire in rands. That's fuck all overseas yeah <laughs> like like you can't buy a, a yeah. lambo with that so you can't yeah. buy a house mm. with that so it, it all depends you, yeah you you like right now i've earned a lot i've spent yeah. a lot but i need to spend more Shit. you know to so, so you spend more to make more yeah I, I i have that mentality everywhere like yeah buy the nice camera make sure that you know you're not know use it to make you more money mm. and so for running club paradise how's the stress levels how's everything coming along is it is it everything as you imagined when owning a club paradise yeah I, is it paradise yeah is it paradise <laughs> no no like a, lo a lot of people like haters were they were, weren't confident in the beginning and they're like ah aaron doesn't know how to do it ah, you know so, so, so somebody bought him a club i'm like so there was a lot of negativity around it but like i showed them wrong like first year was the busiest place ever and this but, was during covid time as well no? uh, just at the end like oh yeah but yeah i was doing things during covid as well mm. actually i want to know the, like was the decision just like okay i want to get the space and make it the club or <laughs> it was it was, it was very random um like I was just always looking, you know, looking, and then I asked somebody like, "Hey, is that place available? Like, can I host there? Can I can I host events?" And they were they were like, "Oh, by the way, we're actually selling it." <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean you're selling it?" <laughs> like, cool, I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like, "This it's this amount," and oh. then I was so like, "Cool." You, you had no intention of wanting to own a club. It just happened by accident. Yeah, no, like like you know if i see an idea or see an something, opportunity like you like said. i'll grab it like <laughs> so it was all yeah. planned you just did it you just went on the floor and like i see an opportunity yeah i'm like cool I'm whatever happens now. it's gonna work i have the i have positive, positive mindset energy. is another thing that's yeah. how you become successful have a positive mindset yeah I, I try to be very positive in all the things i do you know like you need to make sure that you know that's going to do mm. well there's a lot of stereotypes associated with club owners you know doing some shady shit you know? <laughs> where do you feel in between that spectrum bro? To, to, to be honest a lot of people met me and they're like you're not a club owner like yeah you don't have that mentality or like bro you, 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 you you're club. shooting photography within your club i noticed that but yeah. you didn't look like the owner you no, just no, out here doing the manual work I, out here um, <laughs> no i had a guy he con he literally came to me yesterday he was like aaron like I didn't know you owned the place. You are literally taking photos. You DJing. You <laughs> you cleaning up. You <laughs> you you managing. You doing all these things mm. and like yeah. You that's know, the humility uh, like that, that, that I see in yeah, you. Yeah, like, like that's, that's just because you reach the, the level of ownership, is still you don't so treat your status as like something. Ah, now I made it. I'm just gonna let other people do the dirty work. Yeah. you're still putting yourself no, down. No, at, at the end of the day, that that's success where yeah. you, you you're not gonna like just be like cool you do it you know yeah, yeah. i had a bartender i've had that good yeah. luck yeah you still like, want to put yourself in the if, shoes if you see it? somebody struggling yeah. you must help you know must, yeah. you know add that yeah. kind of value make sure that everything does go yeah. well and when you make make your 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 employees feel special and make them want to be part of, of your journey you know so that they can work harder for you so that your club and your success is improved yeah at the end of the day you know you need to make sure that uh you know you do everything in your in your power to make sure that it does you well yeah you know so yeah. i'm not gonna you know put anyone like fully reliable on my own success mm, you know mm, like mm. you must take it hand and wow that's that's someone i don't amazing. know yeah uh, is it i want to know is, uh, are you safe bro like being a club owner because i know like there's a lot of competition and mm -hmm. and and this is that's like i said going back into the field like there's people that's jealous like you said of you yeah. and they see your progress and they're taking you away from their clients and then it's they're like ah Let's try to talk with this guy. Like, yeah. Have you ever got threats before like that? You know? Any no, no, I haven't got like personal threats. Um, mm. Like it's always something you know at the back of my mind. You know, and everyone's like, "Hey, you must be worried. You must have a bouncer when you go out to places yeah. or like go somewhere with like somebody or protection." That I'm like, you know, I I, I don't want to be that guy where you mm -hmm. know, especially if I'm taking photos. It's very expensive as well. Imagine mm -hmm. if I keep doing everything I can. <laughs> I need I need a bodyguard always, <laughs> um, but. Yeah, like I'm low-key still 
You saw you. You still yeah, you yeah. saw the same person as you saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, yeah if it's needs that, then yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's fantastic, man. And um, I want to know, like, when you have a business, you always get this hard time, like the hard moment. How do you bounce back from that? Well, uh, like, I wouldn't say it's a hard moment, but right now it's very hard on me, <laughs> like, financially, because I'm trying to. I just opened another place now and then I'm busy with like two other th like expansions within Paradise. Jeez. Um so many so things. like <laughs> there's, there's a lot of money that I need to put into the place mm. and you must also use money to run the place that you yeah. really have. So, you know, you know, without like insane amounts of external investment it's 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 so very hard or almost so impossible. <laughs> like it's wow. it's tough here. Yeah. It's like breaking even. Yeah, like every money you earn, you must Put it try back to pay the staff, like pay everything, mm. like pay all your responsibilities. Plus, also try build. Mm. <laughs> so it's like a, it's 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 very tough right now. But yeah, we're trying. Whoa. How do you how do you know all this stuff? Do you like read books? Is there any books that you can recommend to to the people out there? Because I feel like I I I I, I, I don't I don't read books. Like you um, you know, I love looking at documentaries. I love. Uh, like watching educational videos and all of that um, but in terms of like actual sitting down and trying to look for certain things I don't really do that mm. um, but I, I do absorb anything that I can you learn on you the know. spot like yeah, yeah. okay I want to know for personally like people want to learn and like learn from your successes and like like shadow you and do, see how you do things so they can also be at your level of like running your own business and still be Human, humility. You still be humble, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, what opportunities would you would you give opportunities for people to come in and just like you know see how you do things, you know? Or are you just like ah, nah, whatever, it's, whatever I learned to myself. You guys, no, speak it out. like I, I've trained a lot of photographers. I've trained mm. a lot of videographers, like to like work for me, especially mm. when I'm too busy and they they're covering mm. other jobs that I can't. Mm. Um, so I've I've trained and showed a lot of people how mm. to do things. But it's at the end of the day, you know, I, I can't also baby people to make sure, mm. you know, th they get to that level. Mm. So it, it all depends on how they are. Ah. And just be hungry and then yeah. put in the work. And then you will acknowledge them and hire them. Huh? You can hire we'll, me. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. Hire me, yeah. You can hire me, yeah? You want to eat a worm because you never know how to that question. Um, yeah, eventually, yeah. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> eventually, what do I have eventually. to do? What do I have to do, huh? Eventually. Please, please, please. <laughs> please, please. I beg. <laughs> 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 nah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Okay. Um, yeah, what's next, bro? Like, what's next? Because I know you opened a new club, but what's, what, what, what's next that you're going to do to change the game? Not just owning a club, but just being different than everyone else um, in the industry. i got a solo expansion to do here. Um, but yeah, things are going up and up, and you know I'm I'm trying to make a big impact where I can. Yeah. Ah, cool. So there's there's a there's a lot coming. Ah, we can't wait to see that success yeah. going forward. But you haven't eaten a worm, bro. So I have to ask you a real wild question. You didn't eat the worm. How many girls have you slept with? Oh. I can't. I I, I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But but put me worms. <laughs> Am I saying it right? But anyway, he's a virgin yeah, still. Into why he's yeah, exactly. Eating. He's a virgin still. Yeah, <laughs> nice. There's guys, everyone, thank you so much, man. Appreciate the time. I feel like that was the worst. I just grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even look at it. You I'm just so took bad. it. <laughs> I feel like that, that was the scales. I, was legit, I can't eat this. <laughs> you could swallow it, bro. <laughs> Sip some, and you gon' get your dance on. Catch 